Another little story about Argentina. I ended up on a place that was, it was owned by a man named Jorge Volpe. And uh, Volpe was a big muckety muck of some kind, had several ranches all around. And, and the place I was on, I didn't understand the language quite good enough, and I didn't understand the spelling of things quite good enough. But I think it was called Quebrancho Arado, which the best. And somebody out there that speaks Castilian Spanish better than me, you're more than welcome to to uh, critique me on this. But the best I could come up with for a translation was was kind of like the shade tree. I think maybe maybe it was the shade tree would be what we call it here. And so we were we were about ten miles from town, and it's a bunch of young single guys. We all lived in a bunkhouse, and so of a Friday night, we'd, we'd drop town, and then Saturday night, we'd, we'd darn sure drop town. And when I say drop town, I mean we trotted town. We rode our horses to town, and we'd bar hop around, have us a good time, do what young men do. And uh, so of a Saturday night, in the main strip there, and it was a little old town, most of it was dirt road, but in that main strip, all the restaurants and bars would, would pull all the tables and chairs out into the middle of the town and, and it'd kind of just be sectioned off. But you might be sitting over here with these guys because they were your bunch of friends and they were they were ordering from this restaurant and this bar and you wanted to order from this restaurant and this bar. And so the waiters just kind of all went around it was just kind of, it was real laissez-faire. It was, was kind of neat. You know, you could order from any restaurant or bar you could choose, but you could sit anywhere you wanted. And, uh, and the Criollos, the, the, the Argentines, they're, they're the most friendly people in the world. Uh, when you meet somebody, you, you kiss them on the cheek. A little weird for an American kid at first, but the girls are so pretty down there that you, you kind of get used to it. Uh, so we'd drink and we'd eat and we'd, we'd have a good time. We'd dance. And, uh, then at midnight we'd go to mass. And then, then after that, the dance would start in town. They, while we were all at mass, everybody pulled, the waiters would pull all the tables around in the town square. We'd have a big dance, have a good time. And, uh, and there again, do whatever young men do. But there was town dogs everywhere. The town dogs would just wander around, go from table to table, place to place. People would give them a scratch behind the ears and give them a scrap and this and that. And, and they, that's, that's just how it works down there. They're, they're just so friendly and, and just such good-hearted people that, that 7, 8, 12, 15 dogs coming up to you while you're eating your dinner at night wasn't all that strange. Well, I was, you know, straight out of Nevada and, and you'd... you'd damn sure don't touch anybody else's dog. You don't pet somebody else's dog. And nicest thing you can do for somebody else is if their dog comes up to you, you, you kick them or you whip them, make that dog not come to you, come to their owner. I didn't understand town dogs. I'd never been in a town. Uh, I didn't understand these weren't necessarily anybody's dogs. And so one of the first weekends we were all in there is, it's me and all the boys I worked for or worked with. Uh, we were eating, we were eating pizza and drinking beers and and out on the street there and a bunch of these dogs come up and one nudges me. Anyway, we're we're eating and drinking and, and one nudges me and I just took my hat, whack, whack that dog with my hat, which caused every town it caused all them dogs to to light out and uh, also caused everyone in town to stop what they were doing and stare at me and i was suddenly the center of attention and somebody else norte americano and everybody yelled and laughed and and that was that was fun and uh 
shoot, then every every time a dog would show up anywhere, somebody would yell, Norte Americano, and, and give that dog something to eat. But them old town dogs, they, they learned pretty quick. They, uh, they just took once. They didn't come bother me anymore. 